In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert continuous variables into categorical ones. And why would, even, why would we even want to do that? Well, we have two multigroup moderators. One's called frequency, one's called experience. And we want to see for those with low frequency, what are the relationships? And those with high frequency, what are the relationships? Same with experience. But right now, if you look at the data set, experience and frequency are not in a low and high category. They're in a continuous set of values between 0 and, you know, what do we got, 13 here? So what we need to do is find out what the medians for these two are, and then create a low and a high that are on either side of that. Now those are relatively low, relatively high, um, rather than absolutely low and high. OK, so let's do that. Go to Descriptive, Frequency, go grab Experience and Frequency. Statistics, what do we need? We need the median. Hit Continue and OK. And we see that the median is 3 for experience and 5 for frequency. We can even look down here to see for experience, we have roughly, wow, 3 and under is 54%. And then for, um, oh, that's experience, excuse me, for frequency, we have once per week and under is, um, 51%, 51.8%. So we'll just use 3 and 5 for experience and frequency to split them. We'll go to transform, recode into different variables. Go grab these guys here. Uh, let's see, experience and frequency. For experience, we're going to rename it to experience cat. How about that? And change. And for frequency, frick. Cat for category. Change. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it Bob if you want to. All right, old and new values. For experience, the value is 3. So lowest value through 3 gets a new value of 1. Add. And all other values get a value of 2. Add. Continue. I'm going to do the same for frequency. Old and new values. Lowest through. Oh, I, you know, I can just click here and um, remove, ooh, remove, and say lowest through 5 gets a new value of 1. Add and continue and hit OK. Let's see if that did it properly. I've never done two together, actually. Let's run frequencies, not on these two, but on their cats. OK, and looks like it worked for, uh, I thought that might happen. What it is was it took the most recent um, criteria and rules and applied it to both. So it looked for fives on expat, expat, expcat <laughs> instead of threes. Let's go change that one back. Frequencies, um, no, not frequencies, apologize. Transform, recode into different variable. Get rid of that one. That one worked. This one has got to be old and new values. Instead of, yep, yeah, see, there it is, 5. Remove that. Make that a 3. 1. Add. So, lesson learned. Got to do one at a time if they're different values. Hit OK. Let's go run the frequencies one more time on these two variables. And here we have it, 54% and 51.8%. That's great. Now, let's go save that data. And that is how you create new variables, new categorical variables, um, based on continuous uh, data. We could also do this real quick. Go to the variable view, and in the label, uh, not label, in the values, click on that and say a value of 1 is equal to low, value of 2 is equal to high. OK. And then I can just copy Control c Control v Does that work? Control c Control v not going to let me do that. Seriously? Control C, Control V. Nope, it won't let me do it. So I'll do it here too. All right. One equals low. Two equals high. I swear it worked before. And okay. Great. And then save it. And there you have it.